Well, good morning everyone. I think Wally the weatherman got today right. It's on the wind. Oh, well, I see the wrong two days. That never happens. But here at the planter, gotta do some fixing. Kind of tight, kind of tight spaces here, but uh, what happened was this, oh, sorry, camera. This was rubbing from this wheel and caused an airline leak. So, gonna fix that really fast. It's making a nice noise behind me. I just gotta find where this air hose goes and try to trace it back. And it goes into here. So, shouldn't be too bad. All right, this should be pretty easy, just right here. So just gotta fish it back a few a little bit, back to there. So, easy peasy. Just disconnected that side, attached this side. So all this is, it's providing air for this module, which controls this airbag, which you can't really see because of the corn stock there. But just controls this, whether it needs to inflate or deflate. Pretty cool, but uh, wires and corn stocks, do not mix. But anyways, I'll get it fixed real fast here and uh, just gotta clean it up and run it through this conduit here. Just kinda protect it a little bit and then rewire it a few places. We'll be good to go. And she's good as new. All fixed up. A little hole there, probably need duct tape or something, but that's just gonna be the way that is. At least good for now. Gotta clean this twine out because that's bad on bearings. Check everything real fast, then fill the tanks and get to it. Okay, nice and clean. So all this stuff right here just kind of gets garbled up in there. And this spot spins right here. And you get all that stuff in there and it can ruin bearings. It's not good, gotta keep that clean. I think everything else is looking all right. Go time. Her up. Well, we broke down a little bit, so not broke down. Uh, I was getting low flow in one of my sections on my fertilizer system, so I went to go try to clean it, reinstall or re put it back on. That did not work, so what I'm going to do is it might be clogged or something, so taking it apart here. So, this is the V apply module, they call it. Basically, your flow comes in here, goes up reader here i i don't know a whole lot about it but anyways i'm hoping that i'm going to take this thing out hopefully and there's an impeller you can kind of see it there that's hopefully clogged the water has not been able to fix the issue so we'll see if i can so far pretty easy so what you do is you just take this little tool here i guess i should have showed it sorry guys and you pry this and you just kind of pry it out and then you pull the o-ring out and then you just grab onto this um, impeller and pull it out and come behold that was in there so I'd say that was my problem well that was easy enough hopefully this little thing here was the issue I would imagine because it was stuck right there but that was easy fix so we'll go try to plug it back in i'm gonna grab some lunch because i'm hungry and then we'll try to keep planting in this uh as you can hear lovely wind we're getting here one problem solved i hope it's actually fixed otherwise more investigating well everything's working got it fixed so uh yeah that's cool to see i was a little scared that i'd come in here and it wouldn't work but it's planting good nitrogen's doing what it's supposed to just try. Just try, guys. Still going nice and slow, but it's kind of funny. I can see where I did my additional tillage. So I tried to do some tillage. I don't know if you guys would have, if you saw the video or not. And I could see where I did my tillage, which must have gone a little deeper than the guy that did the BT tillage because uh, that's my stuff. That's everywhere else. Not as deep. So I'm coming to the conclusion, I don't know if I really like BT or not getting vertical tillage. Um, I don't know, you're not really getting much of a benefit out of it. You're just destroying the top two inches of soil health and it's still really hard to plant. It didn't smooth out the field at all, so probably just wasted my money doing that. But it is worth a try, I guess. We'll say that. 
it's hot and windy, guys. So it's very fun. But I'm going to come out here and just take a look at what's going on behind the planter. Since I've made some adjustments and everything, just want to make sure things looking all right in the ground. Surprisingly, there is some moisture in here. Um, not a lot, but a little bit. There's my seed. Good depth. However, I can see the slice. So I would like to increase my uh, closing system, but it actually is already maxed out. That's kind of what happens with really dry dirt, though. I decided to get out of the wind because you probably can't hear really, can't really hear me anyways out there. So I checked a few spots. They're all about two inches, so that's great. Seat depth is great. Spacing is fantastic. Um, as I said, the closing system, it's doing a good job. It's just, it's dry dirt, so it's hard to do a fantastic job, per se. So that's just the conditions I've got. There's only so much a planter can do. Um, but otherwise, yeah, everything's looking all right. So I just like to get out and check because if you're not out checking, I mean, your display can tell you a bunch of stuff, but there's still things you can miss. So good to always go out there and just dig a little bit, see what things look like. Next year, I would like to plant some more cereal rye before planting corn. Um, I did not get to it this year. We just had a really dry fall and I was gonna work these fields and it was just kind of, wasn't gonna work out. So I'm hoping next year, this will be green and I'll be able to plant into it. Now, there would have been a good chance, let's say I did have cereal rye, that I would have come in and sprayed it probably three weeks before planting or two weeks, give or take. The reason being is because that sort of rye would have been taking a lot of moisture from the soil and since we're so limited this year, it would have been probably the best idea to keep it alive. Uh, a good experiment to see the difference, but I would imagine, I've been told, go ahead and kill the rye if you're worried about moisture stress early in the season. And this is one of those years I'm gonna be worried. So anyways, uh, future progress, um, that I'll try to get more planting green, but this year just, did not work. I mean, I can consider that one kind of plant green, but it's not a whole lot. So I'm trying another experiment here, guys. It's 60 inch corn. Precision planting makes it really easy. What I did is I just turned off every other row, but I'm planting 50,000 population in the rows. So you can see the map, every other row is empty. First off, I just think that's cool that just nice little button presses and Way I go. Second off, the reason I'm doing this, it's just it's a test to see how the cover crops react to 60 inch corn versus 30 inch corn. Now the big thing is you don't want to just do the right same population. You need to double that population so you're not dropping your yield. Now there's a chance I'm still gonna drop yield. Um, I have no idea. We'll find out. I'm just doing one strip of it, so one acre. And I'm just curious to see if those cover crops having more sunlight and less competition if they make a, they should make a big difference but then look into is it beneficial am i losing 10 bushels to the acre 20 bushels 30 bushels or is it about the same if it's about the same and i'm seeing a lot more cover crops maybe it's worth it so stay with me on that experiment that's gonna be one going all year i'm excited to see it i did an accidental one of it last year but this is gonna be a true test i'm gonna see yield and also plant the correct cover crops spacing wise to go in there. Finishing up the test plot, only had three um, passes. And of course, the last test plot, the issue came up again where my GPS died on me. I could just drive it, but uh, well, I wanna make a nice professional look for a test plot. So, restart the tractor. They came out to fix it, and apparently that didn't fix it. Lovely. You're going to hear some beeping going on, but while things are restarting, so as I said, we're decal dealers, so we try to do test plots. Um, so I've got these hybrids here. We were actually trying out some new hybrids, which are kind of cool with some new traits for decal. Um, and then I also got a population test plot there, and then that's my 60 inch corn. So this is just my little test plot area. To try new things is, well, kind of the name of the game for us. Um, whether it's fertilizer test plots, population test plots, hybrid test plots, 60 inch corn test plots. I think it's really important on a farm to try new things to see if there's something you can change in your operation. Either make things uh, more um, just 
better in a whole, or maybe you could save some money by decreasing fertilizer because it's just not doing what you need it to do. Anyways, we always trying to test and try different things, um, see if we can fail a few times and see if something will figure it out and succeed. All right, so it does not want me to use auto steer. Dang it. Gonna have to hand drive this one, guys, but nice thing. I will just watch that and it will kind of tell me if I'm on or off and um, it's gonna be a little shaky, but we'll do the best we can. Yes, I know we can do things without auto guide or auto steer and stuff, but I don't have markers on the planner, so it's not the easiest to do. And I can still do it, but come on. I'm on hill here, we're lazy. Uh, anyways, so I'm just gonna hand drive it here back in the old school days. And uh, since it's last pass, not a big deal, but usually I'm watching things. So I'm not really paying attention where I'm going. I'm watching the display, I'm watching the planner. So now, it's gonna be seeing where I'm driving. Whew, that was exhausting. Just kidding, actually, it's not that bad. But, big thing when you're trying to drive straight with the tractor, don't look at that. Look straight ahead and find a point and drive towards it. A lot easier. If you ever run out of GPS, follow that advice. Whatever. Let's see how I did. Oh, yeah. Professional driver there. Maybe a little squirrely at the beginning, but other than that, not too shabby. Well, guys, that's it for uh, planting 2022. Um, I believe we're done. We got a few more acres that we'd like to plant, but it's so dry that I think we are going to prevent plant some stuff and uh, just kind of roll that way because it's no point in putting a bunch of corn into the ground. We don't get rain or moisture. So kind of a short season for planting, but when you are really dry, that's kind of the way it goes. Thanks for watching though. Um, yeah, we'll keep going, more irrigation hopefully and spraying and just all kinds of fun stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.